I got a batch of PS5 hidden gems coming your way. And welcome to Resell Robin. Today I got a batch of PS5 hidden gems for you guys. You guys like voted for it, you guys have been asking for it. I'm here to bring it for you guys. So I hope you guys enjoy these. A little curated. Before you say it, I know some of these have other versions on other consoles, so don't say that. But these are the, in my opinion, the, the superior version of the game to play. And there's also print run issues and things like that, so these are my picks on that. Uh, I want to thank you guys so much for all the support we're getting. We are now over 1,800 subscribers. We are at 1,809, I believe, as of this video. Thank you guys so, so, so much. We are getting so close to 2,000 subscribers. And with that, I want to uh, make an announcement today. Uh, when we hit 2,000 subscribers, I'm going to be doing a uh, giveaway. Uh, we're going to do basically... I don't want to spoil anything, but it's a pretty fantastic prize. And when we do it, we're going to have in the 2000, 2000 subscriber video, we're going to have uh, you guys comment down below and we will have a generator pick uh, out of those comments. Uh, the winner of the, you know, the awesome sweet prize. The only thing will be is you had to have liked that video. You will have to comment on the video and you have to be a subscriber. So let's get to 2,000 subscribers, guys. Uh, I know I showed up on this video, but it's pretty fantastic. You guys are going to want this item. So if you're not already, subscribe to the channel. Help the channel grow. Let's get to 2,000 subscribers by the end of September. That is the goal. We want to hit that goal, so it'd be fantastic. Make sure you like this video if you like the content I'm bringing out. And as always, if there's games that I need to pick up, let me know in the comments down below you know standard fare on that one and make sure you guys again like comment subscribe all that stuff you know it's great uh pickup video this is actually fantastic i'm so excited i actually just got the complete series of sailor moon on laser disc and it actually even came with the original shipping box that it was released in i think that's so cool really excited to have the whole series of the original sailor moon on laser disc so excited to have this one, guys. Add this one. I Now I, I add that to my classic animes that I'm trying to all get on Laserdisc. Having so much fun with these. Thank you guys who came out for my Whatnot videos. I'm starting to do some of those. So if you guys want me to do a video game Whatnot or another Laserdisc Whatnot or a VHS Whatnot, throw it in the comments down below. Let me know what you guys would like. Maybe we can do some live code live stream thing between whatnot and YouTube. We'll see what we can do with that. But without further ado, let's get straight into the video. I've been too long on this. PS5s, here we go. Let's get them started. <music> Gungrave Gore. Uh, I love the Gungrave series. I picked up the original one on PS2. They're like action, um, basically like third person action games. It's based on an anime uh, of the same name. If you've never seen the anime, by the way, check that one out. But this is a pretty cool game, guys. Uh, it didn't get as widescreen of a release and not a lot of people talk about it the last gun grade game is worth a decent little bit of change so i don't see a reason not to pick this one up on the ps5 i think this also got a ps4 release if i'm not mistaken but the graphics and everything are much superior on the ps5 and also they just tend to print less physical media on the ps5 so you know how that goes Highly recommend picking this one up. Again, if you love a good action, like, third-person shooter game, you're going to have a good time with this one. The next one I want to cover is actually a survival horror game, and I had a blast on this one, and it's actually Fort Souls. Um, what more is there to say about this? It's another survival horror on the PS5. I always pick up survival horrors because they always go up in price. They very rarely stay... They very rarely go below price, unless you're getting like a mainstream one, like a 
Resident Evil 2 remake, which is a great game, by the way, but it'll it'll stay around 25 bucks probably for the foreseeable future. But this is fantastic. It has Troy Baker in it, a lot of really good voice actors in here. Um, I don't want to spoil anything. Definitely a fantastic survival horror. Definitely worth picking up. It's not too expensive right now. I think like 30 bucks. So don't sleep on this one or you're going to end up probably down the road paying through the nose. So add it to your collection. The next one I'm going to roll into is such a unique game. And it is We Are OFK. This is a narrative-driven story driven type game similar to like life is strange but not really you basically like a band and you're working on like your lyrics or how the direction you want to go with the band and you text people and you work on your relationships and stuff like that such a cool little unique indie game very limited quantities of this one has been produced. Uh, you're not going to find this in GameStop. You're not going to find this in like Walmart or any of those places. I had to order it online and there was only like two listings on eBay for this. So this does have a Nintendo Switch version as well. Although that was released a little bit after the PS5 version. So I would actually recommend getting the PS5 version on this one. Um, I don't know. It's I love games like this. I love Life is Strange and stuff like that. So if you love narrative-driven games, you're going to have a good time on this one. The next one I want to cover does also have a, um, I think, PS4 and Switch release. This is the best graphical version. And I just wanted to pick this one up. It doesn't run very good on the Switch, from what I understand. And this is actually Ever Forward. This is a cool... I want to call it like a platforming adventure game that's like very calm and I don't know. This is a cool game. That's the only way I can put it. It's very like, it's not a walking simulator, but it's not like a hardcore platformer or anything like that. It's just a unique story game. Uh, I really enjoy this. I love the art style they went on this and the character and stuff. And I think this one you can be picked up for $20 right now, brand new. And I think it's just these weird games like this are the ones that people sleep on and they tend to go up in price because nobody really talks about it and then it just goes snowballs and then it goes up in price and for $20, I mean you can get it on Switch for I think $25 or something like that. I would highly recommend picking this one up guys. Cool story driven game. The next one's actually already pretty up there in price, uh, and it just released, and I think we might have another expensive one. It's a sequel to a game I've already featured in the past, and it's actually White Day 2. This is a survival horror game uh, that's a sequel to the original White Day that released on... Well, it released on PS4, and it released on Switch, and then I believe they did a new remaster that released on PS5 that has like all the DLC or something to that effect. Uh, really cool. I love the White Day games. I love games like Fatal Frame and a lot of like uh, Clock Tower. It reminds me a little bit of and stuff like that. And the sequel's already sitting around $60 brand new. And the MSRP in the GameStops and Targets and all that stuff. Well, Target ain't right. But GameStops is $39.99. But they're already like sold out in a lot of places. Highly recommend you pick this one up. Uh, I don't know how many print runs of this got made to be honest this doesn't have a switch version this is on ps5 and i highly recommend you get this one before the price Prices. the last one i want to cover is actually another survival horror game a lot of survival horrors today i don't know um and it's actually a game that doesn't get a lot of uh fanfare that i think is a really cool survival horror game and that is actually medium now, this released uh, on PS5, and I don't know if this even got a PS4 release. This might be just PS5. Let me know in the comments down below if it did. Uh, this is brought to you by the team that's de currently developing and developed uh, the new Silent Hill 2 remake. So that's a very interesting perspective right there, and I think could potentially drive this one up, especially if Silent Hill 2 remake ends up being very expensive. Uh, this one right now, I think it's like 30 or $40 used. Uh, I would actually highly recommend you pick this one up right now. It's a great, great, fantastic survival horror game that has like a dual... Uh, 
watch the gameplay. You'll see what I'm talking about. It's hard for me to describe. Definitely recommend. Again, I think because the team that developed this is working on Silent Hill 2, if Silent Hill 2 ends up blowing up, this one's going to be in high demand, and I don't see it floating around many places. So buy it sooner rather than later, because this is one that you may end up regretting not picking up. I'm just saying, hey, pick it up. That's all I got to say. And that's my PS5 hidden gems, guys. I just wanted to get this out here for you guys. Um, I have a Switch one, another Switch one coming. I just got banger after banger on the Switch right now, and it's just crazy. I'm getting so many games on the Switch right now. I actually did just get two more PS5 games that are on their way right now, surprisingly, because I'm going, I am leaning heavy into my collecting right now on PS5, Switch, and PS4. I just feel like those are the ones I need to be targeting. I already got most of what I wanted on the Xbox 360. I have almost everything I want on the Wii outside of two games. Uh, and then I'm leaning heavily again into the Japanese market with a lot of Japanese games right now. I think that's an untapped market. I think there's a lot of fantastic games that just aren't released here. Uh, there's a lot of stuff. Japan's going to be a great trip this time, guys. I am going to pick up so many games. So excited for that. But I want to thank you guys so much. Uh, let me know down below what you think of these games. And let me know what games I need to pick up. I'm always looking for more stuff. I appreciate it so much. Make sure you guys like the video. Make sure you guys comment. And of course, subscribe to the channel. Again, we're going to have that giveaway when we get to 2,000 subscribers. So please, let's help get to that point right now. So we can get to the end of September. Get the subscriber count up. And we can do that fantastic giveaway, guys. I appreciate you guys so much. And as always, stay savvy. Don't sleep on the PS5s right now, guys. You're going to regret it down the road. I'm telling you.